In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the internal rate of return, or IRR, for a project in Excel. So I've got six projects here, and each project starts with an initial cash outflow in period zero, which is today, and it's followed by a series of cash inflows. Now to calculate the IRR of a project, just type equals IRR, and then highlight the series of cash flows. Note that Excel gives you the option to guess the IRR. If you don't enter anything, it guesses 0.1 or 10% and then iterates until it finds the rate that makes the project's MPV equal to zero. You don't usually need to enter a guess, but if Excel returns an error message or gives you a weird result, you might try entering a guess. Now you can see that the IRR for project one is 6.73%. This is the time adjusted annual rate of return for project one. Dragging the fill handle to the right will show you the IRR for the other projects. You would then compare the IRR of each project to the company's hurdle rate. If the company's hurdle rate was 20%, for example, you'd only accept projects five and six. Now in this example, the cash flows occurred at regular intervals and were equally spaced out. Had the cash flows occurred at irregular intervals, we would need to provide Excel with dates and then use the XIRR function. The IRR function didn't require dates because it assumed that the dates were the same distance apart. Here's a schedule of payment dates that shows a series of irregular or non-periodic cash flows. Because we don't have a series of equally spaced cash flows, we need to use the XIRR function to calculate the internal rate of return. Just type in equals XIRR, then highlight the cash flows, and then highlight the dates. And that will give us our internal rate of return, which you can see is 68.05%. Finally, note that you need to have at least one negative cash flow to calculate the IRR in Excel. If every single cash flow is positive, you'll receive an error message. Also, if a project's cash flows have exactly one change of sign, there will always be a single unique IRR. But if there are multiple changes of sign, there could be multiple IRRs, or in some cases, no IRR. And that's it. If you'd like to download this spreadsheet, you can sign up for my email list using the link in the description section below or to access the spreadsheet immediately, you can become a supporter on Patreon.